Okay, so let's take a look at the Hangman game that we had to do this weekend. I'm going to talk through it, I'm going to fumble through it, I'm going to try and write tests. This is going to be very interesting. And when I stop talking, I'm either thinking or having a drink. So let's take a look at what we have. We have the game. Uh, select a random word, make it the secret word, guess one letter at a time. If we guess right, all instances of the letter are revealed. If the player guesses wrong, they're pen we're penalized by taking away a guess. If we guess all the letters right, we win. If we make eight wrong guesses, we lose. Okay, well, it seems to me like the first thing I need to do is make the hangman thing work without a DOM and see what that, see what that looks like. Um, so, without further ado, let's take a look at what we have. Let's make it hangman.js. And, uh, up, up, um, what am I going to do next? I'm going to have the hang person game here. All right, let's take a look at what I can do. I need to get Jasmine in here. So, Jasmine. There it is. Two point oh. The standalone release sounds perfect. Let's take two point oh. That's a zip file. This is going to go into, what, uh, week six? Oh wait, no, I'm actually not doing this stuff here. Code. Hangman, save. And then, I'm going to unzip, no, I'm going to make a lib directory and then I'm going to move jasmine inside the lib directory and then inside the lib directory I'm going to unzip jasmine. Ah, uh, that was wrong, something went wrong, what did, I, what did I mess up? That's just weird. I'm so confused. Okay, well, let's see what this can do for me. That's very strange. Okay, I definitely did something wrong there. What? This is getting really frustrating really fast. Ah. This is why we should never just start from scratch without being prepared. Aha. Uh -huh. 
so so confused. All right, fine. I give up. I will do it the dumb way. Seriously? What's going on? Okay, well, that's funny because GitHub Emacs is not behaving the way I expect, so I have to make up stuff. So now in this Jasmine directory, I have a dist directory, and then in here I have Jasmine standalone 2.0. I can move this to directly in some hangman and I should be able to unzip this I can and I did and it turns out for funsies I didn't actually have to do it here because it gave me a lib directory oh I see that gave me Jasmine with a bunch of sample tests okay Quick time is actually running. Good. Okay, so let's remove that. Let's remove the SRC directory. Let's remove the spec directory. Next less noise. Let's remove the Jasmine standalone thing. Here I've got all this stuff. Okay. I'm guessing the spec runner should be in the root directory. And this feels like a wonderful time to try it out. File users outlook code hangman spec runner with html perfect i got something that works you know what that means right now i'm going to commit Okay, gotta commit. Now let's try the first test. My first test should tell me that my randomness sucks. I don't want to do the random test. So, I'm gonna do a cheat random test. I'm going to write a test, let's see. So I need a spec directory. And inside this spec directory, I'm gonna create a hang person spec for JS. And this is gonna be describe hang person. I'm going to say uh, it should give me one of many words.
So what I wish existed here is something like, let's find out, let's see. How about uh, var hangman equals new hangman. Uh, I guess I should probably call it hang person to be consistent. Or hang person equals new hang person, and then I'm gonna say uh, expect hang person dot word. That's not right. Okay, I need to look up how to do this. What I want to do is uh, hang person's word is one of many possible words. So on to the Jasmine documentation. Jasmine 2.0, uh, my specs are all, this is all here, describe, positive case, include, included matchers, to be, to equal, to match, to be defined, to be null, to be truthy, to contain, Perf perfect, that's what I want, okay. So I actually need to do like hang person dot words to contain hang person dot secret word. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Uh oh, it fails. Well, maybe it's because I didn't set up the test runner right. Uh, let's go to the spec runner file. Oh yeah, look at that. Look what it's doing. It's so cute. Um, it's got a source directory and a spec directory. The spec directory, that should be hang person spec. Perfect. And then here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow their convention and say source hang person.js. Which of course means I have to create a source directory. And then in here, I need to create a hang person.js. So let's take a look at well, function hang person. Doesn't take anything. Right now, it's just super duper empty. And I'm going to say hang person prototype equal. And I'm going to do function. Well, first question. I got this test here that says words and word. Do I want them to be accessible like this, like variable, or do I just want them to be functions? I'm thinking function right now. So, Let's change the test to say this. Oh, you know what? This is also wrong. It should be a lowercase. Thank you, error message. Now it says undefined is not a function, which is only partially helpful. But the error is on line three of the test. Is that right? In person spec line three, it says one, two. I'm confused by this. Let's do. Uh, word is function word and it doesn't do anything right now and words is a function words it also doesn't do anything right now I'm confused oh you know typos suck oh still broken that's not cool. What's going on? What's going on? I got var hang person is a new hang person. I wonder if I need to now. I don't need to do that here. 
um, hang person dot prototype function hang person well, that's not very friendly this thing's happening on line three huh? so right here hang person and I'm defining hang person here and opening the prototype oh yeah That's frustrating. What's the source saying? Hang person the JS, hang person spec the JS source spec. Everything is supposed to be fine. Clearly it's not. Oh, um, I decided to change my, I decided to change this and then I didn't update. See, this is where I should like have someone telling, wow, that, that was, that wasn't even the problem. Okay, time to break it down. Let's say var secret words is hang person that's secret word and then var words hang person that words what's going on now? That is still the same exact error message. I feel I feel really silly right now. I have no idea what's going on, and I've written so little code. I hope you guys looking at this know what's going on and are laughing at me. Runner object that anonymous line three twenty six here I'm confused by this. Pretty sure that's how that works. Yep. That is how that works. I am massively confused and massively unhappy. This is all Jasmine. This is the only line of code I have to do something with, and it's not helpful. That's not that's not what I meant to do. Uncaught type error. Am I doing something ridiculous and I'm not aware of it? Is that what's going on? Oh. OK. 
Okay, taking steps in the right direction. Cannot. So that was my problem entirely. I was just like using the same word. That's just massively silly. Okay. So let's say that words is an array that has in it word and uh, banana. So that's a step in the right direction. I'm going to want probably to do something like uh, this dot secret word equals. Well, I need to find the random element in an array. I guess I kind of sort of don't need to do that yet because I'm not really checking for randomness. But whatever. Uh, MDN JavaScript array random. What is that for us? Array.sort. Yeah, I should have been timing myself. I don't know how long I've been going for. I hope Array has a list of, th of all the things, like the movie documentation. Properties. Prototype. Is Array. Of. Length. Fill. Pop. Push. Reverse. Cat to source index of entries filter find keys map reduce reduce write well it doesn't really help let's go back to that sort compare function. I wonder if I can make this just random by passing a function that does something random. Oh, let's try this very quickly. Oh my god, Andrew talked about it and there it is. Tabzilla.disable easter egg. Very cute. I'm gonna say var ha ha is equals to uh, one two three four five six seven. I'm gonna say ha ha dot sort function math dot random. Eh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's find out. That did not do anything randomish. Um, let's go back to what Paul was saying. Do math at the floor times two uh, minus one. Nope, totally not random. I don't know how to do it. Let's go back to the results. Take, put my pride into check. Put my, put my pride in check. And actually, this one seemed better. Okay, apparently this is kind of how you do it, so I'll take it. I mean the function for this, because that's just complicated. Uh, so this is going to be this secret word. And then random word is going to be a function random word. It's gonna say uh, words. Actually, let me just paste that in. Okay. Yeah. There we 
return words math of floor math of random words that length. So this isn't great because I'm creating the array every single time, but right now I don't care. So I'm creating an array and returning it every time. But I'm really not worried about that. So let's see if I let's see if I can make this work. Words is not defined. Because I need to do this dot. String is not a function. What? Is it because they just not read this correctly enough? Carefully enough? No, this is meant it's gonna return an element of the array. Math of four, math of random times this word of length. And this is complicated. When I get this first test to pass, I'm going to pause. Hopefully things will go faster. Line four of hang person spec. So supposedly here. Hangman that's secret word. Am I just like kicking myself by defining these things with the same name? Is that what's going on? Because if so, I can stop. Aha! Now's a really good time to commit. And two points.